I warn you, what you are about to hear is very disturbing indeed. I have not slept, I have not seen. This mind's gleam, esteem to stem to rest, a recess that's best suited unto death. My dreams fool me, faint to be, supply me with faulty fallacy. I tried to dream, but it seems that it would not be a dream, but instead a nightmare unseen of my own indecency, crushing the man I used to be, drowning the boy inside of me. As hope flees, despair gleams from the rotting corpses of supposed to be and what might seem. Faded from what could and who would. Defeated, seated, seething in the aperture of my own apparent failure. That boy, who was he? Who? Me? I am the yesterdays of histories of should have bees. The you, you failed me. Can't you see we were to be more? Not broken, not jaded, not out the door, not a whore. Was it worth it? What for? I was supposed to be happy. Not trapped, decayed, sated with apathy. My courage failed and my hope died as I sighed as the life seemed to fade from my eyes. Wake up, came a voice. Someone said that I had a choice. That this dismal decay wasn't the only way. Follow me. Listen to what I say. There is hope, love, all of those things that you said was a lie, all of those things which you were willing to die, those things that you miss on the inside. You don't have to be alone, no matter if this match of life you've thrown. It doesn't have to be this way. Your life doesn't have to be made brief. I understand it's hard to withstand the grief of broken hearts and false starts. But I died for you, lived for you, loved you. There was nothing else to do. I even now stand as an advocate before the courts of my father, granting you access to eternal living water. My child, you were never alone and will never be apart. I love you for all of eternity. Now please, let me heal your heart. 